everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Yet another Chanel unboxing reveal. I mean, it's, I guess Halloween is my lucky season more than, um, more than the actual holiday season, which I really abhor. I'm not really uh, into uh, the Christmas stuff, but, um, because, you know, Chanel boutiques and the beauty boutiques, they get all of their stuff for Christmas way ahead of time so that they could prepare. So, you know, at the end of the day, for Christmas, it's going to be nothing because I'm getting all this stuff now, which is fine by me because Halloween season is my favorite season. So I'm going to do an unboxing and a review. It's going to be really interesting because now that I've got all the products that I wanted in this particular range, well, not in the range, but in this consistency or... Eh, well, let's just see what it is first. I mean, you already saw it in the title. So why beat around the bush? Um, it's the... Foaming Bath. Now, we're going to compare it to the Bath Gel. <laughs> Are they the same? Are they not? We shall see. But... Before we get to that, let's see what else is in here. So we had our little trinket, our little embellishment for the bag, a camellia with the Gabrielle details going on, like as if hundreds of Gabrielle bottles were stacked next to each other. Tissue paper, scented with Gabrielle Essence, which I always, I don't want them to do it, but they always do it. More stickers, let's put this down like this. And more plastic, but, uh, gee. But uh, we got the patch stickers, the Chanel Gabrielle patch stickers, which you can put on garments, beauty cases, notebooks, what have you. Thank you very much, Chanel. Um, then I got, now, the Jasmine oil. When It's a four milliliter sample, but this is the revitalizing facial oil, which is not to be confused with the Jasmine massage oil. Which, quite frankly, I've tried both. The consistency seems the same to me, but in the ingredient description on the Chanel website, they do state that they are different. The facial one costing much more than the massage one. Apparently, the facial one has better ingredients, but still, it's... <sighs> Honestly, I mean, I really like it. Not for the face, though. For the face, I would re recommend the Le Blanc oil. That one is really cool. That one actually has properties that kind of curative properties for the face. I got a little tiny baby Chanel number no. 5 Eau de Parfum 1.5 ml. These are always cute. You can never have enough of Chanel number no. 5. That's what I always say. And this special little treat. That's it. Uh, the Sublimage. Reflects everything. Hard to see. Sublimage. Okay, so let's open it up. What is it? It is... Um, an interesting concept that Chanel has. So it's like a beauty case with a zipper, but the concept is to, and it's so funny how these zippers are basically the same zippers that they use for their really expensive bags. So, except, well, it's, it's a plastic zipper. It's not a metal zipper, but the pull is metal. So here they, they fill it up with, um, testers, you know, with little samples of different sublimage products, which except for the eye, which I do have, it would fit right here. The eye sublimage cream is amazing. That's the only thing that my skin can really take because it is for more mature skin. Um, so it's a bit tricky if you're using sublimage and you're, you, you have younger skin or younger toned skin. The problem is that, um, this could make your skin a bit lazy because your skin is active, it's vital, it's doing what it needs to do. But if you give it all this hyper nutritional products, it can kind of not, it, it can stop in a way doing what it's supposed to do because something else is doing it for it. So I didn't react very well to the sublimage. So you could take this out basically, take this whole thing out and then you have a little velvety Chanel container, which I think is adorable because here just says Chanel. It doesn't say sublimage, so... Only on the inside. Thank you so much for that, Chanel. You can never have enough Chanel in your life. That's what I say, and especially freebies. The mo, the better. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Chanel, for that. 
Let's close this one up and get to the video at hand, which is the unboxing and review of the foaming bath. Let's open it up. This one is not in production anymore, and it won't come back as of now. So let's see, you know, I bought the last one that they had. This one is the one that is in production. This is the one that you can readily find available um, in most uh, most places, most Chanel boutiques and online. This one, not any longer. Maybe still in some countries. So this is from the the bath line, quite simply put. The bath, foaming bath gel. How different will it be and how will differently will it perform to this one? We shall see. Well, first things first, looky, looky, I got ourselves two colored cookie. Um, there's no paper here to uh, describe anything in detail about this product. So we do have both are 200 ml. Both should be used up 12 months after opening. One has a batch code 3501. This one has batch code 2201, so this one is older. So this is, I don't know, it's, it's an older, older bottle, but they still had it. We have the Chanel inscription at the bottom here, as do we here. It's the same bottle, just two different colors. Gorgeous. Now let's see quickly on the skin. Now before, without using too much water, I've showered with this one many times. It's really, really good, but there is a but extremely light light scented very delicate uh it's like a lighter version of the dry oil by the way check out in the card section up here the dry oil unboxing and review of chanel number five not unboxing but review um that type of smell but toned down and much lighter is here let me smell this one now A bigger opening. <laughs> you can see this one is a bit tighter, this one's bigger. So let me smell it. Mm -hmm. Very similar, this one being a little bit more citrusy perhaps. Let's see, where, where should I, no, let's do it here. Let's put a drop of it, there you go. Ooh. Okay, so we have a drop of the foaming bath. And then next to it, I'm a little bit more further away, I'm going to put a drop of the, what's it called? The bath gel. Okay, so first, if I'm just going to look at them visually, they look the same. Like it's not, the, they both have a little pearly pinky tone to them. Let's try to rub them in. Um, this one, right, so let's kind of flip them like this so we know what is what. Okay, so the foaming bath is has a very sticky thick consistency the bath gel I'm going to use another finger for that has a slightly lighter texture less sticky they both turn kind of white the more you rub them the bath gel being definitely less thick it's like a more watery I don't know, just, yeah, more a, a gel gelatinous, more like a gel, I would say more like a gel consistency to it, while the foaming bath is, it, it, it's thicker, and you can see also it's turning, well, let me turn the light down, there you go, you can see how it, uh, let me turn the light up again. So, now the next test that I'm going to try to do is um, how they react when the skin gets in touch with water and to see if the foaming bath does create more foam, <laughs> if, we, if, if in touch with water, and how they both perform, you know, and also how does the fragrance smell after we've washed it away and dried, does, you know, which one performs better? Does the foaming bath 
scent the skin longer than the bath gel or not. Let's try that out. Okay guys, we're in the bathroom now. I've already tested the waters. This is going to be quite difficult to film, so bear with me. Um, let's do this one. Wait, let's open them both. <laughs> oh, the experiments that only Chanel lovers can do. Okay, so let's do the pink one first. The bath gel. Well, a little... Okay. There it is. Let me add some water to it. Okay, so let's say we're showering. Let's see. So this is the consistency. Aha, here it comes. The foaminess, right? Wait, let me... <laughs> it's hard. Okay. Ooh. Oh no. Spraying upward. Okay. Um, this is the gel. It doesn't really foam that much as you can see, right? It gives us what it gives us. It, it stays close to the skin, so to say. It doesn't go too much into the foam. It stays gelatinous. The smell is very soft and delicate. We have the jasmine, we have the ylang ylang, and we do have um, all the classic, you know, Chanel, the more delicate Chanel aspects of Chanel number no. five. Okay, let me wash it off. Now let's take this one here. Put some on. Okay. This one, because it has a bigger opening, um, it also spills more. So my hand is already wet from the water. Hmm. This one smells more like 80s Chanel. Yeah, let me add some more water. Does it bubble up more? Yeah, I would say... What do you guys think? I think it does bubble up more. I mean, it foams up. I have a bubble. We don't have enough water here. I would have to fill the bathtub with water and try to see how that works, but let's not overdo it. I would say that uh, feeling on the skin, the foaming bath is more intense. It's thicker, it's richer, and the smell is more 80s Chanel. The bath gel is a softer concentration. It feels softer on the skin, it slides easier, and it also washes away quicker. It kind of has none of the oily consistency that the foaming bath might have. It feels a little bit more oily on the skin and richer. And the smell is a lighter, more tendent to number five low with the bath gel and we're more in the number five classic 80s not quite there in terms of intensity but definitely more 80s with the foaming bath more perhaps more that aldehyde aspect of Chanel number no. five with the white bottle rather than with the pink one so that's that here we are back in the studio that was an ordeal um but i have to say it was it was fun. It was really difficult at one point uh, when I turned everything off. Oh, gosh, then turned the water back. <laughs> I'm all wet now. The water just sprayed all over me. But thank God the camera is safe. Anyway, verdict. Um, I would definitely recommend for more for a more direction old school Chanel Five experience the foaming bath. And if you more if you want a more lighter introduction into the Chanel number no. five world, I would recommend the bath gel. This one washes off quicker than this one. I'm to be honest with you, I don't know as of now how long they will smell. I do have a sneaky suspicion that this one lingers on the skin longer than this one does. Price wise, it's a bit tricky to tell since this one is not discontinued, but they have more or less the same. I don't know, there may be five bucks difference. This one costing, I think, oh gosh, I don't remember. This one might be either three bucks more or less than this one, but they're more or less the same price. So yeah, that's, that's that. Stay tuned for my next video where I shall talk about this bath range and we're going to like kind of look into detail um about all of these products here we have the chanel number no. five soap the dry body oil the foaming bath the bath gel 
and the special Christmas edition sparkling body gel. Uh, the, um, what am I called? Do they all fit in one image? It would be better if they would. Yeah, they do. So stay tuned for this. We're going to compare them and see how they work and final verdicts on these in my next video. Until then, Stay Chanelified, you guys. Uh, thumb up this video if you liked it. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Super Jacob, all spelled together. I would also like to thank all my patrons for pledging. Thank you so much. You get to see a lot of videos first there before they hit YouTube, all ad-free. And some videos are exclusive only to Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Bye.